Hi, I'm Tom Lobziak. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a slower forehand loop. This is where we attack a backspin ball, but we really try to focus on getting a really good spin contact rather than going for too much speed or power. The demonstration in this video comes from Martin Gray, who's a really experienced British league player and beats me all the time. So if you want to learn how to do a really spinny, slower forehand loop, then keep watching. Let's start with the technique. How do you play this slower forehand loop? Well, I'm not gonna overcomplicate it. I'm gonna give you three things to consider when you're trying to play this shot. The first, and what I think is the most important, is the swing trajectory. So a typical forehand loop may look something like this. Okay. Now that will allow you to attack a backspin ball, getting spin and speed, and your ball's gonna probably go a little bit lower over the net. Now, when we do a slower forehand loop, instead of coming to this position, we're gonna come up straighter, gonna come up a little more vertically. That allows us to really brush up the back of the ball. The second thing, really important to be using your legs. If you're too upright and you're just trying to use your arm, yeah, you'll still probably be able to do it, but you're not gonna be able to maximize the, the spin on the shot. So important that when you're doing this slower forehand loop that you get low, you squat down on your legs and then you push up with your legs and that allows you to kind of flow upwards, allows you to get that nice acceleration up the back of the ball. So the leg's really important with this shot. And then the third part to think about is the acceleration. Even though we're playing a slower forehand loop, it doesn't mean that you go slow. We still want lots and lots of acceleration. So with the legs and then accelerating upwards, whipping the arm through. Why the acceleration is so important is because we get trying to get a really fine brushing contact on the ball. So we need plenty of acceleration for the ball to actually go anywhere. If you do it too slowly, the ball's probably just gonna die into the net. So you have lots of acceleration with a very fine contact and that's what generates this extra amount of spin with this higher arc which goes over the net. Some opponents really do not like it and they're not quite sure how to deal with the extra spin and the change of pace. And this is what often happens. You do your slower forehand loop, your opponent sees the higher arc, they stand up a little bit, they open up their bat angle and the ball just flies. It goes up, off the end of the table, you've won a cheap point. Other opponents might be able to return your slower forehand loop, but it can be tricky to keep the return low. So if your opponent is trying to block it, what often happens is their block comes back a little bit higher over the net. And that gives you a good opportunity to then play more direct and finish off the point. So you can think of this slower forehand loop as almost a setup shot. 
you load it up with spin with the expectation that your opponent is either going to return it off the end of the table or if they do return it on the table it's going to come back a little bit higher and therefore you can finish off the point. This slower forehand loop is just a really nice variation to add to your game. Some opponents you play just won't like it when you use this shot and not quite sure how to deal with it. In those situations, you can use the slower forehand loop a little bit more. Um, other players who maybe are more comfortable with returning a slower forehand loop, it's still worth throwing it in now and again as a variation just to change the rhythm and the speed of the game. So sometimes you might be more aggressive with your loop, sometimes a little bit slower. Change that rhythm, see how they deal, deal with that. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like this video, then please subscribe. I will have plenty more videos coming soon, so I'll see you then. Bye-bye.